This video is for educational purposes only. Our intention is to inform, not to encourage any harmful activity. We'll break down real threats and show you how to spot and stop them. You'll learn to recognize warning signs, understand common attack methods, and respond effectively if your security is ever compromised. Phone call hacking is the unauthorized interception of your conversations. Someone secretly listens in without your knowledge. This threat affects everyone, not just celebrities or politicians. Hackers use various methods, from exploiting network flaws to tricking users into installing spyware. Their goal is always to access sensitive information for financial gain, blackmail, or surveillance. You might think your calls are private, but hacking shatters that assumption. The psychological impact is real. Trust in your devices erodes. Understanding these attacks is the first step to defending against them. Our calls aren't as secure as we'd like. Acknowledging this is crucial for better security. One of the most alarming and sophisticated hacking methods in the world of cybercrime is the SS7 attack. This technique has been making headlines for years, and for good reason. It targets the very backbone of global communication. SS7, or Signaling System Number 7, is a set of telecom protocols that connect phone networks worldwide, allowing billions of people to make calls and send texts across different carriers and countries. However, it was designed decades ago, at a time when security was not a primary concern, and trust between network operators was assumed. Hackers can exploit SS7's outdated architecture to reroute your calls, intercept your text messages, listen in on private conversations, and even track your real-time location, all without you ever realizing it. This means that your most sensitive information could be exposed, even if you're using encrypted apps. These vulnerabilities are deeply embedded in the global telecom infrastructure, making them extremely difficult for individuals to defend against. The problem isn't just local, it's international, affecting networks in nearly every country. Fixing SS7 is a massive, ongoing challenge for telecom operators. Upgrading or replacing such a fundamental system is costly and complex, so the risk remains for millions of users. High-profile demonstrations by security researchers have shown just how real and immediate this threat is. With only a phone number, they've intercepted calls, read text messages, and tracked the movements of unsuspecting targets. SS7 attacks aren't just theoretical, they're a practical danger that has been used in real-world espionage, surveillance, and even criminal activity. While newer, more secure protocols are slowly being adopted, the flaws in SS7 will likely persist for years to come, especially in regions where upgrading infrastructure is slow or expensive. This makes SS7 a favored tool for sophisticated eavesdropping by hackers, cyber criminals, and even state-sponsored actors who want to monitor targets without detection. Until the entire system is overhauled and replaced with more secure alternatives, network-level threats like SS7 attacks will remain a serious concern for everyone who relies on mobile communication. Spyware targets your device directly, turning your phone into a surveillance tool. Once installed, spyware can record calls, access messages, and even activate your microphone without your knowledge. It often arrives via phishing links or by someone physically accessing your phone. Advanced spyware can upload your call recordings to a remote server, giving hackers full access. Some spyware can even listen in on conversations happening near your phone, not just during calls. The commercial spyware market is huge, with tools often misused for surveillance. High-profile cases like Pegasus show how governments and criminals exploit these tools. Even basic spyware can devastate your privacy. For most people, the threat is from commercially available apps, but the impact is just as severe. Your trusted device can easily become an instrument of surveillance. Social engineering is a powerful and surprisingly effective hacking method that targets people, not just technology. Instead of breaking through firewalls or cracking passwords, hackers focus on manipulating human behavior and emotions to get what they want. Hackers use psychological tricks, like urgency, fear, or even friendliness, to manipulate you or unsuspecting customer service reps into giving up access to sensitive information or accounts. They know that people are often the easiest way in. One of the most common tactics is called pretexting. Here, the attacker pretends to be you, calling your mobile provider with a convincing story to reset your account or transfer your number. They might use information found online or from previous data breaches to sound legitimate. This often leads to SIM swap attacks, where hackers gain control of your phone number. Suddenly, they can intercept your calls and texts, leaving you locked out and vulnerable. With your number in their hands, hackers can easily bypass two-factor authentication, 
which is supposed to protect your most sensitive accounts, like email, banking, and social media. Victims often realize something is wrong only when their phone suddenly loses service, or when they're locked out of important accounts. By then, the damage may already be done. Social engineering works so well because it exploits basic human instincts, trust, helpfulness, and the pressure to act quickly in urgent situations. The scary part? It doesn't require any technical skills, just a convincing story, some research, and the ability to sound believable on the phone or in an email. Overworked and distracted customer service reps are especially vulnerable. With dozens of calls to handle, it's easy for them to miss the warning signs of a scam. In the end, the human element is often the weakest link in any security system. No matter how strong your passwords or how advanced your technology, people can still be tricked. Even the strongest passwords and security measures can be bypassed if someone manages to talk their way into your account. That's why awareness and vigilance are your best defenses against social engineering attacks. Phone call hacking has fueled major scandals, from tabloids to government surveillance. The UK's News of the World scandal exposed how journalists hacked voicemails using default pins, causing immense harm. The Pegasus spyware case revealed governments targeting thousands, including journalists and world leaders. SIM swapping is now a common tactic for stealing cryptocurrency, draining victims' accounts in minutes. These incidents show the emotional and financial devastation hacking can cause. Most cases never make headlines, but the threat is widespread. The consequences are real, privacy violations, financial loss, and lasting trauma. These stories are a wake-up call. Phone hacking is a clear and present danger. You can take practical steps to secure your calls and data. Lock your phone with a strong passcode or biometrics to prevent unauthorized access. Add a unique PIN to your mobile carrier account to block SIM swaps. Only install apps from trusted sources and check their permissions. Be wary of suspicious links and urgent messages. Phishing is a common attack vector. For sensitive conversations, use end-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp. Encryption ensures that even intercepted data is unreadable. Keep your phone and apps updated to patch security flaws. Avoid public Wi-Fi for sensitive activities or use a reputable VPN. Layering these defenses builds a strong barrier around your communications. Proactive habits make you a much harder target for hackers. Cybersecurity is always evolving, so must your defenses. Hackers constantly seek new vulnerabilities in software, networks, and human behavior. The rise of smart devices and IoT expands the attack surface in your home. Compromised smart speakers or cameras can be used to eavesdrop. AI brings both better security and new threats, like deepfake voice scams. Hackers can use AI to convincingly impersonate your voice and trick others. Stay proactive, review privacy settings, question new tech, and educate yourself and others. Demand security by design from companies, not as an afterthought. The future will bring new challenges, but vigilance and education are your best defense. Protecting your privacy is an ongoing commitment in a connected world. We've explored the world of phone call hacking, from network flaws to social engineering. The key lesson, your privacy isn't guaranteed, and protecting it is up to you. Don't rely solely on providers or manufacturers. Your actions matter most. A hacked call can lead to financial loss, reputational harm, and emotional distress. Treat digital security as seriously as physical security. Lock down your devices and accounts. Let this knowledge empower you to act, not paralyze you with fear. Use strong passwords, enable multi-factor authentication, and stay skeptical of unsolicited messages. Choose encrypted apps for sensitive chats and keep your software updated. These steps make you a harder target and help keep your conversations private. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and protect your privacy fiercely. Your journey to a safer digital life starts now.